And I've told this story to a couple of my Palestinian friends about how God fucking had hair. <laughs> yeah, I, I told that story. I told them. Um, my dad explained to me the Middle Eastern conflict when I was like seven years old. You know, I was like, Dad, what is Gaza? Why are what what is happening? I literally remember I was very young, and he was like, Well, I was, and I was like, Why is this guy Osama bin Laden? Okay, why is he trying to kill us? Right? And he was like, well, like, they're really mad at us. And I was like, why? He's like, well, America supports a country that went over to them and took their land. And I'm like, why did they take their land? And he's like, well, they said that, oh, my, my, my great, great, great grandfather lived here. And so this is my land and kicked them out. And he's like, is that right? And I was like, no. I was like, I wouldn't like it if someone came to, my, came to our house and said, hey, we used to live here. You got to fucking get out. It's like, hey, we live here now. Like, maybe you have an older claim to the place. That's fine. But that doesn't give you a right to kick us out of the house, right? And, you know, that's how he explained it to me. And I, and I tell my Palestinian friends this story because I'm like, you know, my dad had no love for Arabs. He didn't have love for Muslims either. He hated Muslims. He always told me, like, how, you know, Islam was the worst religion on this fucking planet. He fucking hated Muslims. And he was not a great fan of Arabs either. But he still had the balls to tell me essentially a very simplified version of what, of why the Arabs are so mad at the Israelis and America. He had the nerve to tell me the truth, just despite his own hatred. So even though I personally have a bias towards the um, pro-Palestinian side, like I have an emotional bias for some reason, I'm still going to call out pro-Palestinians on their faulty arguments and bullshit. You know, I, I guess I get it from my dad that I, I, I can separate my emotions from my fucking mind. And, you know, th there are cases where I've seen the pro-Palestinian side come out with some fucking garbage fucking dog shits here fucking arguments. And I'm like, this is embarrassing. Like, you should be fucking embarrassed. Like, I don't know. I've also seen the Israeli side come up with some really shit to your arguments as well. There's shit arguments on each side. You know, like, when I try to watch people fucking debating, they, like, they just start fucking ad homing and shit, and it's, or ad hominem if you don't know what that is, but it's just actually insane. So, I don't know. Keep your fucking emotional things outside of your actual analysis, because I try my best, and I can actually sit here and criticize the mosque, and criticize the pro-Palestinian side to, like, certain uh, reasonable levels. Right? Like, it's made up of a lot of fucking keyboard warriors who, like, when it comes time to actually help a Gazan civilian, they're not going to move a fucking muscle. They're not going to move their phone, like, I don't know. Like, they're not even going to do this. You know? Like, it's so easy to go to no to donate on a GoFundMe. You literally, like, you, I, I just do it with Apple Pay. Right? Like, you can, they can't even donate five fucking dollars to a cause that they love so much. But Jews will actually give money to the fucking cause, so it's pretty crazy. I'm just ranting. I don't remember what this video is about anymore. I'm just going to upload it on a day where I don't feel like fucking editing. So yeah, peace out.